Good morning, Detroit. How are you this morning? I am Apostle Shirley Wharton, and I'm the pastor of God's Way Deliverance Ministry located in Southfield, Michigan. And I am also the visionary for Nurturing Women, which is a women's ministry founded on Titus 2, 3 through 5. And I just want to welcome you to do the right thing. Do the Right Thing can be seen every Sunday morning at 8.30. We have some beautiful, dynamic people, men and women, to declare and to speak forth a word in due season into your life. So I'm asking you to tune in. You, we can be seen on Comcast Channel 20, Vile the Bell Global Network. Amen. Or you can put in bgntvgospel.com. So just tune in. And you know, while you're getting ready to go to church, you never know what God has in store for you. He can give you a word even before you get there. Amen. And maybe you might have a problem or something, and someone might speak a word that you need to hear for that day. Amen. And before we get started today, I, we want to always open up with prayer. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank and praise and worship you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. I thank and praise and worship you, Father, that you are an awesome God, that you are a mighty God, that you are a God that know us, you care about us, you understand those things that concern us in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that you are not a God that is a far off Father in the name of Jesus, but you are a God that we can touch. You are a God that we can reach. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this day. Father, for I trust you that you have a word in due season for your people. And I trust you that they that have an ear to hear will hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto them in this season. Amen. And amen and amen and amen. We serve an awesome God. God is so awesome. I'm telling you, you know, I have been just laying in the presence of the Holy Spirit and I'm just beginning to just see over and over and over again just how awesome he is. And I'm telling you, it, and it's, my question to you is just who would not serve a God like this? Everything that we need, everything that we seek, it is in him. God is awesome. And uh, one of the things, uh, even before I, I left uh, home today, one of the scriptures God just dropped down in my spirit this morning, and I got up and I was praying, and it has to do with Luke 12 and 40. And he was saying, to whom much is given, much is required. So I want to speak to you today, and I just want to say, God has invested much in some of you. Some of you, you know that you're called. You know that you are anointed. You know that God has his hand upon you. To whom much is given, much is required. And I want you to know today that we are in a season when God is putting a demand upon the gifts, the talents that he has placed down on the inside of you. And I'm saying to you today, it is time for you to rise up and to be about your father's business. Listen, God didn't just give you the talent. He didn't just give you the gift or the call just because he didn't have anything to do. He said over in uh, Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, he said, I knew you. I knew you. And when you stop and you begin to meditate upon that scripture and you begin to think, before I was even formed in my mother's womb, even before she knew she was pregnant, even before she knew I was coming on the scene, even before she knew whether I would be a boy or a girl, she, God knew me. He knew my name. He knew my zip code. There was nothing about me that God did not know. And he had a plan and he had a purpose for me, surely. Even before my mom knew that I was going to be a girl and she was going to name me Shirley, God knew me by my name. He knew me. And not only that, it said he called and he ordained. He told Jeremiah, I ordained that you would be a prophet. And let me tell you, before I was born, God already saw this day. He saw this day that I would be sitting right here talking to you. Because I'm going to tell you, that wasn't in. Hey, that was nowhere on the radar for me that I would be on TV one day. 
And you know, we never know the plans of God. But I will tell you this. It is not for us to be ignorant to the device to, of the enemy, nor is it to, for us to be ignorant to the plans that God has in store for us. And let me tell you something today. Yes, he has a plan. And just as God has a plan for us, so does the enemy. He has a plan also for us. And the choice is yours. Which plan are you going to follow? Are you going to follow God's plan for you? Or are you going to follow the plan that the enemy has for you? I made my decision. And I'm asking you to make your decision today. Do the right thing. And follow the plan that God has for you. And I'm here to tell you today, oh, the journey is not going to be easy. But it will be well worth the trip. Let me tell you, I'm a witness. It will be well worth the trip. God said, I have a plan. I have a purpose for you. And some of you, I know you're sitting there today and you're saying, well, Apostle Shirley, yeah, he has a plan and he has a purpose and I believe that. But what is it? Because I've been asking all my life, Lord, what is it? What is it? What is it? Well, let me tell you, God is not withholding the plan from you. He is the manufacturer. When we buy something in the store, and we might not know how to put it together, but there is directions with that plan. And the minute we follow the directions, then we have the outcome of what it's going to be. But when we decide we know more than the manufacturer, that's when we mess up, and then that's when we miss it. And we begin to look at this contraption that we were putting together, and now we want to wonder, well, what is it? Because this does not look like the picture. And I'm asking you today, do you look like the picture that the manufacturer has meant for you to look like? Or have you gone astray? Are you one of those that you are just determined, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to have it my way. I know what's best for me. This is my life. That I can do what I want to do. And at the end of the journey, you sit there and you wonder, why is it that I'm not looking like who God says that I am? Because somewhere along the way, you stop looking at the manufacturer and you began to put your eyes on man. You began to look at and, and fall up under the pressure of the cares of this life and the things that are going on around you. And I'm sitting here today and I want to tell you, one of the things that God has really been saying is detrimental for us in this season is to keep our eyes upon him. We have to stay focused in this season. We cannot afford to allow distractions to come and the cares of this world to come and to get us off course. The enemy wants your attention. Don't give him any. Don't give him any. You have a choice. Keep your eyes up on the Lord. God said we are not to fret for anything. He said every need has been met. Every provision has already been provided concerning you. Yes, the way is a narrow way. And he said, few there be that find it. Because everybody don't want to pay the price. Oh, we want the blessings. Oh, it is so good when somebody begins to prophesy to us. And they tell us, oh, you're going to the nations. God has great and mighty things in store for you. And he does. But nobody wants to go through the process. Because see, sometimes what God tells us, what I have learned, God always speak to our future. Always speak to our future. And sometimes where we are right now and what he's saying, it don't quite line up. Because you don't, you're wondering, how in the world can I, I don't even know five scriptures. And God is telling me I'm going to the nations. But see, there is a process 
There's a time and there's a season for everything under the sun, said God. And if we just stay the course, and if we stop leaning to our own understanding and be patient, you're going to get exactly where God wants you to be at in this season. That's why he said, don't be weary in doing well. In due season, you'll reap if you faint not. That's the problem. We don't want to wait. The enemy comes in and he gets us all anxious. What's your hurry? I'm here to tell you today, don't go ahead of God. Don't go ahead because you're headed for a shipwreck if you go ahead of God. And the biggest problem is sometimes we think we are ready and we are not. We think we, we got all this information and I'm ready, Lord. I, I, I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. You don't. Hear me today. You don't. And the day will come when you will regret that you didn't wait. That you didn't allow God to perfect those things in you that concerns him. We have to learn to be patient. We have to learn to be wait on, and wait on the Lord and allow him to do what he wants to do down on the inside of you. Don't you know God has put gifts and there are talents. There are all kinds of treasures that are down on the inside of you. Oh my God, you, you think you're being used of the Lord, but I'm here to tell you, you have not even tapped in to all that God has placed down on the inside of you. And I'm speaking to somebody out there today, and I want to say to you, the word of the Lord to you today is, there is so much more to you than meets the eye. And you are right at the end. You are so close to your journey's end. And all hell is breaking loose around you. Because the enemy is coming to try your faith. He's trying to do everything he can to get you from crossing over that threshold. He does not want you to reach the goal. But I'm here to tell you God is saying to you, woman of God today. God is saying to you, man of God today. Stay the course. Stay the course. Don't allow the enemy to come in at this, at, right at the midnight hour and deceive you. To get off of your course. God loves you. And he's doing everything he can. He's encouraging you. He's been dealing with you in dreams and in visions in the night season. He's been sending word after word after word. To let you know that you're on the right path. And I'm here to tell you. The path that you're on, God said, I've already gone before you and I've already prepared the way. And don't you know, even though you feel like you're on this journey all by yourself, I'm here to tell you today, God said to tell you, you are not on this journey by yourself. He said, I'm on this journey with you. And remember the things that I have spoken unto you in times past, that I would not leave you, that I would not forsake you. I've got you. God has me to tell you today. He's got you. You're in the palm of his hands. And God said there is nothing or no one that can pluck you out of my hands. And one thing the enemy knows, he's no match for the word. He's no match for God. He can't stop the, the word from coming to pass in your life. The only somebody that can stop the word of God from coming to pass in your life is you. That's why the warfare is so hard against you. Because the enemy knows if he can just get you to look to the left, if he can get you to look to the right, if he can begin to cause you to look back, he's got you. He's got you. But I'm saying to you today, keep your eyes on him and don't allow the distractions and those things, those fiery dots, that are coming against your mind. Oh yes, I hear they're telling you. Oh, you miss God. 
you're beginning to question on the inside. Lord, did you really say this? And see, so often the word of the Lord comes and we get all excited and all oh, we're just so happy God said these things. But we get caught up in the waiting. And then we began to question, Lord, but you said three years ago that you called me to be a, a pastor. You called me to be an evangelist. Lord, you said all of these great things about me. Now three years have passed. Five years, ten years have passed. Where is the promise? But let me tell you, God's word is God's word. If he said it, he will bring it to pass. He said, not one word that I have spoken to you will fall to the ground null and void. Not one. And the word of the Lord to you is, whatever he has sent out, believe you me, it's not going to come back void. God never speaks forth his word. He'll never be able to come back and tell you, I'm sorry, but I couldn't do what I promised you that I would do. No. God sent his word, and it's going to accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. And God wants you to know today, whatever it is that he promised you, it will be exactly the way that he said it would be. God loves you just that much. And that's why he's sending words of confirmation. He's confirming his word today through me to you to let you know that I have not forgotten about you and I have not forgotten one word that I promised you, not one word. And even as I said here before you today, don't you know that same word is for me? It's a confirming word to me also. And I want you to know, God said, I have not forgotten your labor of love. He see all. He knows all. There is nothing about you that is hid from him. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He sees every seed that was sown. He sees every sacrifice that has been made. He sees every tear that has been shed. He hears every prayer that you prayed. And believe you me, when he says, I hear that means he's doing something about it. He's doing something about it. So I'm saying to you today, continue to be faithful. Continue to hear and to obey what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto you, yes, even this day. Because he wants you to be encouraged. And God is saying to you, just come aside. Come aside, my brother. Come aside, my sister. And began to pray and began to seek me with all that is within you. He's saying to you, it's in the praise. It is in the praise. It is in the worship. And God is saying, today, begin to praise me. Continue to worship me. And you'll begin to see the strongholds of the enemy be broken from over you. That spirit of depression. All oh, those oppressing spirits that want to come in. And want to weigh you down. And want to tell you, oh, you miss God. Oh, he wants to shut the mouths of the naysayers that said that God didn't call you to be who he said that you were. God's going to manifest himself to you in this season. Because he wants to prove himself to you. That yes, my brother. Yes, my sister. I am a God of my word. If I said it. I'll bring it to pass. Because you know, he's raising your expectancy. He is raising your level of faith today. For you're going to begin to trust in him like never before. Maybe you have a ministry. And God has said increase. And what all he was going to do in the ministry. And the more that he says increase, it looks like things are decreasing. 
But let me tell you something. God knows exactly what he is doing. And he's still saying, increase. I don't care what you see. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it appears to be. God is saying to you, I said increase. And if I say increase, it is increase. And he's saying to you today, stop looking at what you see. Stop looking at what you see because what you see is not what it appears to be. All oh, it's false evidence appearing to be real and it's not so. And God said, tune out the lies of the enemy because he's lying to you. God's word is God's word. Heaven and earth will pass away. Not one jot. Not one tittle of his word. His word stands. As long as you stand on it. Keep the faith, my brother. Keep the faith, my sister. God is not man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he will bring it to pass in your life. I sit here. And listen, I'm telling you, I'm preaching to myself. Because let me tell you, that same enemy that's talking to you, don't you think he's not talking to me? He is. And I have to encourage myself in the Lord. And I'm saying to you today, encourage yourself in the Lord. Remind yourself. God said, hold me in remembrance of the things that I've spoken to you in times past. Hold me in remembrance of my word. God hasn't forgotten, but sometimes we forget. What has God been saying to you? What has God spoken to you? I don't care how long it's been. His word stands. And his word will not fail you. His word will not let you down. Believe you me, you can rest in him. You can trust him to do exactly what he said. The enemy works overtime. Let me tell you, he works overtime to try to undermine the word of the Lord. He works overtime to try to undermine what God has said to you, what he has promised you. But I'm saying to you, rise up my brother, rise up my sister and declare the word of the Lord. Speak over yourself. Remember that song, it said, speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. He loves you. He loves you. And he's waiting to hear. He wants you to agree with him. Just agree with him. You don't have to understand. And all of your getting, God did say get it understanding. But let me tell you, you first, you got to get it. You got to say it over and over and over. It's just like they say about the cow, how he chews his curd over and over and over. And he, and he brings it back up. That's how we have to do the word in this season. This is a faith walk. And we are all fighting the good fight of faith. And he said it's a good fight. And why is it a good fight? It's a good fight because in the end, you win. In the end, I win. If I stay the course. Because you see, we are not fighting with flesh and blood. But we are fighting with the word of the true and the living God. And the word always wins. You are on a winning team. You are on a winning team. And you know, I'm going to tell you, yes, God never promised us every day would be sunny. There's going to be some cloudy days. Matter of fact, there's going to be some stormy days. There are going to be some days when you want to give up. There are going to be some days when you want to say, God, forget this. I've had enough. Those days are coming. And you might be just coming out of some of those days right now. What they say, you're either in a storm, been through the storm, or you're getting ready to go through one. But regardless of what your journey is, let me tell you something. God 
always prepares us. He always prepares us. So I'm saying to you today, hide yourself in him. And when the storm come, on those days when you want to give up, on those days when the enemy is speaking to your mind, saying that you would be better off if you wasn't even living, that you want to die, that you just want to give up. Those, I'm telling you, it's real. And you know, church people, we are good for not being real. But I learned a long time ago, if I'm honest before God and I tell him just exactly how I feel and what I think, he can help me. And when I put it out there, the enemy can't blackmail me trying to tell me. Yeah, but look at you. You saw, because I tell off on myself. So listen, don't try to cover up how you feel. Just be honest with God. He understands and he loves you. And I say to you today, if you have not given your life to Jesus, that's the first step to victory. That's the first step is to surrender and say, Holy Spirit, I'm tired. I've done it my way all these years. Now I'm giving it to you. And just believe in your heart that he is who he say that he is, that he is a forgiving God. And trust him and believe you me. You will begin to see things begin to turn around in your life. You can set even forth and take a generational curse and turn it into a blessing for your whole family by just surrendering and giving your life to Jesus, the one who made you, who loves you, and knows everything that there is to know about you. So I want to say to you until next time, do the right thing and know that God loves you. I'm Pastor Shirley Forden. My number is 313-515-4877. Call me. Amen. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network.